Hello folks. Welcome to Cat's Hat Corner. I'm going to, this is a video on how I did my uh, acorn. Um, the color of this one is going to be purple, okay, with a multicolored top on it. Go be for the kid again. Um, anyway, those of you that already know how to do the flat circles, you can skip this part. You just cast on. Skipping everyone. Make sure you end up in the front of the black circle. Open it up, latch it. Oh, hold on, folks. Thank you. I use this to pick if one of the uh, if it gets caught or splits in the teeth. That's what I use. This is actually goes to the looms. I do the same amount of rows for if you were doing a flat circle and do 17. See here's one the it split got caught. So I just use that. I have to clean this again. It's getting dusty, all the fiber from the yarn. Now, unlike the flat circles where you would pull them both together, close them both. close one end. I always do this on the machine because it's easier to close it up. After you take it out of the machine, and like I said, if you already know how to do this, you can skip over this part. I just do this in case there's anybody new that's watching plus I picked up a few kids on my YouTube channel that are following me so I'm just doing the whole process for them if they decide to get into this And just watch when you're picking these up so you don't drop one and watch your work come apart and then you have to do it again I've done that on this side too when you pull them up or turn them, you can end up dropping one of these stitches over there Okay, here we 
go. Now, before I go, before I go closing this up, okay, I go ahead and tie this up. I tie one end up that I already have closed. My needle. And I like using the metal needles better than the plastic. It goes it's smoother. So a lot of times I'll change out my needles to the metal. Especially this one. And this one I got in, I had bought um, upholstery set needles and this was one of them. So this is actually an upholstery needle. And that was because the eyelet's big enough for the yarn. This is a little tricky because there's a certain way. That I do the bottom of this. Because remember, this is going to be the bottom of your acorn. So you want to kind of have a uniform look to it. Like that. Flat a little bit. But remember... When you're looking at nature, nothing's going to be perfect. you got lumps, bumps, curves, dips, all of that. It's not perfect. So when it comes to your art, when you're making something out of nature, whether it be uh, an acorn, fruit, leaves, whatever, it's not going to be perfect. Now, because I'm stuffing the inside, I'll just stuff that in there. This part, don't close it up before you put the stuffing in. And I don't, have, I don't put a whole lot in there. Because it's not a pillow. This might be a little too much for it. And on my acorns, I don't put a double layer on it like you would with the, uh, the balls. So you want to kind of keep it not exactly round. You got to think about how an acorn looks out in the wild. Let's see how it's coming to shape. Now this part, this is the part where let's see. I'll leave this open a little bit. There's a reason why. Right now. I just set that off to the side. And I gotta get my other needle. I got like five of them needles that came with the Annie machine. I love these machines. just to give you all some ideas. These, which people normally use 
for floss. I about use it for everything. I got my a lot of buttons in here. Eyeballs. So you can put eyeballs on your acorns and your uh, pumpkins. Whatever you want to do. This you want to stitch up because this is going to be your top part. Remember, pay attention to which one you're stitching up. Take the short one, stitch that up first, okay? Because that's going to be the top of your acorn. So you want to try and make it look fairly flat. And remember, don't cut this off okay because you can take this piece and crochet the stem instead of having to go back and crochet a stem individually and stitch it on all I do is I pull this tight and I knot it Okay, you do want to close it up though. Alright. Knot it just like you would making a flat circle because we're going to make flat circle, okay, folks? But it's going to be a little, there's differences. Now, I want you to notice something. Because some of these, the way you do them, go with the natural curl. Have some of these curl over or you can do it that whatever but how they curl up okay there is your beginning top of your acorn now remember here go ahead knot this up okay Just make sure none of your stuffing is showing. And just send it through okay plus another thing the bottom part you can use to make apples all you would have to do is put a stem see there's the bottom you got your top. Okay. I'll like make sure I have it pretty fairly centered. Okay. And this is a little time consuming. You flip it under here. Let me bring this in closer. Ah, there we go. Now, you want to line up the grooves right here. So you have two and you'll put this line right in each other just like that when stitching. So you want to pick that up, go in through 
here. Oops, come on. Sometimes, like I said, it takes time, practice, all that. Okay. Now you got to remember it's already knotted on one end. I already knotted it up. That process, and as you're going, you might need to move it a little bit so it doesn't end up like over here. Just take your time with it. It's tedious and nobody will see the stitching afterwards. Okay? Now, sometimes you're not going to catch all of them. Don't worry about it. Just try and get the most of them. This is why you want to do a longer uh, tail when you're making your flat circle for the top. How that's holding oops see how that's holding and that's the bottom side this is the part that nobody's gonna see okay so if you have a mistake nobody's gonna see it one thing you don't want to do and that is to get in a hurry don't get in a hurry I got a little bit to go Now, you could do a mushroom, too, uh, but this part would have to be skinnier. And what you can do to do the mushrooms, oh. use one of these to make the rope and just stuff it. And put that part on as a stem for your mushroom. There you go. Maybe put some eyeballs on it. Plus fall's coming. Halloween's coming. There you go. I hope you're understanding what I'm doing. See how it's got this right here. Okay. And you got a pur purple row just one I'll line it up like that okay see so it's in line each purple row is in between one of your multiple colored slots this is how I'm stitching them on And they call it a mattress mattress stitch for doing the mattress seams. And that's why you can't see the stitching. Plus, it's weaved in locked down because it's knotted on one end and when I get to the end of this which is soon because look I only got this much left okay at this point I'm at the end I only got one more to do in here right here I'll do a slip knot see that loop bring it through this is where I do my knot
Because if you do it right, nobody's going to see your knot, neither. It'll be hidden. I do too. Okay. Now I slip that through. I try to aim for the hole here. Bring it through. Don't pull it too tight. You want it loose. Okay. Don't pull it too tight. You want it loose. Stretch it a little bit. Play with stuffing. Because we'll do. Secure it here. And stick it on through to the top. See? There you go. Here's your bottom. All we got left now, just do the top. here I'll do a slip knot take that loop bring it through this is where I do my knot because if you do it right nobody's gonna see your knot neither it'll be hidden I do too. It's about long enough. Good enough. We'll also give the illusion that it fell off the branch naturally. A lot of people there don't think. See? There you go. Another acorn. Like I said, these don't have to be perfect. Nothing is in nature. I'll be right back, folks. That's how I do my acorn, folks. Any questions? Just send me email, whatever. Leave comment like subscribe all of that and i will chat with you later have fun knitting good day stay out of trouble bye folks